Welcome back. So today we are going to be making a fully functional analog clock in After Effects. This clock will have a hour, minute, and second hand that you will be able to speed up to your liking. Let's get into it. Okay, so like every project, you're going to start with a completely blank canvas. So let's go to File, New, New Project. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save this one because I don't want to lose all the progress I have. And we are going to go to New Composition here. And we're going to call this one just Clock Tutorial, I suppose. Okay, so I'm going to keep this at 60 frames right now, or 59.94. And we are going to keep the duration very long because we want to be able to see the clock in action. So once you have all that, click OK. Okay, so what we want to do to start is just to make the background of the clock. So go to New, Shape, and click enter on this and we are going to call this clock background okay so we're just going to make a little bit of a background here in the form of a circle or eclipse so if we go to add eclipse here when we have this one selected it will make us a new circle in between here then we can go to add fill and this will put a red fill into there but we don't want it red because well maybe you do I don't though so let's go Let's change it into a little bit of a gray here by going into the color, clicking that, and changing it to a gray. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So now go under Eclipse Path 1 and go to Size, and we're going to make it as big as we possibly can. Like right there. That looks about good. Okay, so now what we want to do is make the second hand. I'm going to start with the second hand. You could start with the hour, the minute, the second hand, whatever you want to. But I'm going to start with the second hand. So, right click here, go to new, and go to another shape layer. And we are going to click enter and we're going to call this one the second hand. Okay, so for with this one, we're going to go to add up here and make it a rectangle. This will give us a little rectangle outline over here, and like before, we're going to go to fill. But we don't exactly want red, I'm going to change it just for, I don't know, just change it to completely black square. Now if we go into the rectangle path 1 here and we see the roundness part here, I'm going to change that to 30. If you want to change to something more or less, go ahead. But you can see here if you close in that we have a little bit of a rounded shape to it and this just makes everything look a little bit better. Okay, so for the size here you want to click this unlink button so we don't get affected by some of those things. And we are going to change the first one to 30 and the next one to 200, oh sorry, 495. This will be the kind of size we want to have for our second hand. Now, the hardest part of this is to try and get the second hand be completely in the middle of the clock. So, a good way to do that is to highlight the second hand here, click A, and then increase this value until the very edge of the second hand hits the anchor point. So we can just affect this, holding control if you want to make a smaller adjustment until we hit it right there. Then if we go back to full view here, that's a good second hand, and if we hit right here, it rotates perfectly fine. Now we can get onto the simple expression to actually make it rotate to the time. What we want After Effects to do is rotate this second hand all the way around the clock once in 60 seconds or one minute. So to do that, all you have to do is alt click on this stopwatch here. So hold an alt and click on it. This will give up a little bit of a expression window here. So if, if you type in time and then little times or asterisks and then six, and you go to one minute in your timeline, it will make one full turn around the clock. Very, very simple. For the minute hand, all we will have to do is click this layer, go Control D, and then we'll just do it again so we can do the hour hand later. So click Enter on this and call it the minute hand. Now if we go into the rotation by clicking R, we'll see that it has the exact same attributes as the second hand, but if you click this little arrow here, we can change that up. So we want the minute hand to go 60 times slower than the second hand. So to do that, we're going to have to go time forward slash for divide by 10. So now, once 
when this one is going by in one turn, you'll see this one is slowly moving. So it keeps going and going and going. If we go to one hour in our timeline, which is very far, but once we get there, you'll see it goes one full way around the clock. If we get it at the perfect time, you'll see that they exactly match up, but it's very difficult to get to. But we aren't even close yet because we have to get the hour hand into here. So let's just get that one done right now. So go into enter and go hour hand. So click R again and open this thing up. Except this time we're going to go time divided by 120 because the hour hand is supposed to be going 12 times slower than the minute hand and 100 times or what six times it, it's it's a very very slow so the problem with this is you won't even be able to see the hour hand go one complete full turn unless you make your timeline 12 hours long and that's very very long so what I found out what you can do is if we open up the rotation effect on all of these and bring down all of these just to set them all up what we can do here is put all of these in brackets and then we can times it again by a special layer that can control the speed of the clock so put all of these into brackets and then we will add another layer onto here so go to new null object this is just a pretty much invisible object unless we add stuff onto it go into your effects and preset and type in slider so we get the slider control and slide it onto the null object okay so now we have this effect that pretty much does nothing until we actually put something onto it so let's just open up the slider effect right here and this is how you do it here so for the second hand for example if we go down into the expression list here, we have to go all of this in the, inside the bracket times whatever the slider is set to. So to do that, we just take this little pick whip thing here and we attach it to slider. Now this will add a whole bunch of random nonsense onto here, but don't worry about that. Just click out. So now this by itself will not change anything, but if we change the slider, into let's say 10 you'll notice that the second hand will go 10 times faster you see it's flying by everything you can barely even see it but it's going 10 times faster if we apply this effect to everything else then we can make the clock go however fast we want to so all you have to do is add this apostrophe or not apostrophe asterisk to every single one so I'm just gonna quickly do that now Okay, now every single one is attached to the clock. So right now, this slider is set to 10, so everything is going to go 10 times faster. But if we set it back to 1, it will go exactly to where it was before, and it will once again take 12 hours for this one to go all the way to the end. So this is a very easy way to kind of make a time-lapse clock. If you want it to go a hundred times faster, if you want it to go a million times faster, you can change it to do whatever you want. So if I hit a hundred here, everything goes a lot faster. It's almost impossible to see what's going on unless you zoom very far in. So that's all I have for today. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and let me know what you thought of the video in the comments. And if you want to subscribe, go right ahead. If you want more videos like this, then you can click on some of the thumbnails right here or the links to all the videos shown are in the description.